Um, so just to make sure that we are on the same page, uh, we're using uh, UFI 2.9 version of specification, which was released in March 2021, and UFI PI 1.78, uh, which was released in April 2020. So what was initial UFI goal? So as we discussed the previ in previous section, we know that EFI was designed to boot Itanium based computers. But um, despite Itanium was first 64 bit CPU, uh, it was totally different from previous 32 bit things and it, it happened to be impossible to use old BIOS code. So legacy BIOS uh, was stuck with 16-bit uh, real mode um, and this backward compatibility for that platform happened to be uh, a necessary evil. So um, uh, EFI was supposed to overcome those uh, problems, but uh, it, it happened that it's not so easy to get rid of all this legacy mode and all this backward compatibility limitations. Um, so on the other side, we got the proprietary, proprietary nature of BIOS, uh, which was part of the compatibility uh, problem, um, part of the compatibility problem, uh, but um, the new UFI also didn't get rid of that. And maybe this was because um, uh, the UFI specification was a brilliant move to preserve previously established uh, supply chain and economy and just to make sure that the key component will be in hands of uh, given parties they, uh, they establish at the UFI specification. Of course, on the other side, it helped to standardize the interface between the hardware and the operating system.